Honey, what kind of music you want to listen to? Let's find something cool on Epidemic Sound Alternative Hip Hop Epic Dreamy Epic Dreamy sounds good So you guys remember I got these Bose speakers from Jim as well So we're gonna take them out and we need to test them because these little guys can bring some good money and I also show you how you can take the screens off to figure out what year they are very tricky how to take these off uh, people tend to break them so let's test them one by one and see if they work is it recording? Yeah, I think it is We need to test this box. Want to get in on the box? Of course you do. Get in the box. What? You love boxes. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, hon. Comfortable? All right, that's fine. Right here. Go in a box. I gotta test these. Oh, crazy. Anyway, all right. Let's switch this. Turn that off. So what I'm gonna do? One. This is one release button for left and right. There we go. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. All right, so all of them work. All right, so these these have no models anywhere when you look on them. There's no numbers or anything. These are called phase uh, phase free space trees. Now Bose made so many different speakers over the years. It's crazy, and they might be just a tiny bit different in style. So if you don't have a model like this, just uh, go on, on eBay and put in. Uh, mini cubes from Bose and you're gonna be able to compare the style and design and you figure them out now most of these will it's a single speaker inside but they usually have a sticker on the inside telling you what date this was manufactured with and that way you can narrow down what system they belong to because um, the trees were built probably in 2005 to about 2007. Number twos were before that, a couple years, and number ones even a couple years before. So it's a good way to narrow this down. But to take these off, it's extremely tricky. They have clips on the inside, right in the middle of each of this cube. There's like a it's hard to explain. It's like two notches that are holding on to the plastic um, that it's going all the way around. So I'm gonna remove one slowly. And the way I do, I put my fingers on top and I kinda just push forward. I don't wanna like push on top. I'm just pushing forward. To, see, till they pop out. Be very careful. This plastic insert will break if you put too much, too much pressure. Come on, Ruby. And these, here, let me see if I can focus this. See these little notches on these speakers? That's what it's holding. That's what it's holding this cover. And see, here's, here's a little sticker with the date. So these were manufactured on January 13th, 2007. And that way you can narrow down. And also at the same time, you can check to make sure if uh, if the speaker is good. If it's not blown or anything like that, this one is in perfect condition. But the yellow... 
Ruby. They are a little tricky to get off. Now to put them back on, very simple, just clips on like that. But to get them off, uh, and, and be careful if you're gonna try to stick like a screwdriver in here to pry it up, you will damage. This is all plastic and you will leave marks. So if you're gonna use something sharp, be, ex be extremely careful. Why you have to be screaming right now when I'm recording? Look at you. Look at you. Do you look like a wet chicken? Look at you. You're all wet. Look at you. What is this? You wet chicken? She just took a shower, yeah? Yeah? Here. Yeah, chicken. You smell like a wet chicken too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. So anyway, guys, uh, these can bring really, really good money because just in, even if you find one and you tent, that's what happens a lot of times that somebody will uh, blue couple of them in their system and there's, they're left over with one or two or three speakers that you just toss them on a table for a couple bucks at a garage sale or in a thrift store for a couple dollars. These alone will go, depending on a condition, but between 30 to 40 bucks each. If you have a complete set like that, you can usually get, you know, good, uh, good money, good money. And, and they're super easy to handle, easy to ship, very uh, sturdy, so this is a very good item. What are you doing? Huh? You gonna say hi to everybody? You gonna say hi? Hi. Man, you smell like a wet chicken. All right, mailman just knock on the door. One return. Another return. Straight away records from Haverhill, Massachusetts. Attention, Pete. Nice, we'll open this in a second. So it looks to me, it looks to me like this guy is busted. The tray on the inside comes back crooked. And, yeah, see, I can make it straight. When I press the eject button, doesn't do anything. See? And now, look at that. By itself, it just tried to went back. Yeah, the whole align thing. It's not aligned there. So this is going to be definitely, unfortunately, for parts only. For parts only. It still should bring few dollars, you know? There's lots of guys who, uh, who want parts parts for these because there's not many of them out there so or they can just fix it if this was a good running model probably about 200 to 250 for parts maybe 50 bucks all right let's see what kind of returns we got Man, they, they jammed that in there. All right, somebody, this is not the same product that they bought from us. They send me a different, wow. I'll show you guys what they bought and what they returned. They did a switcheroo on this one. And this one is something tiny. Oh, this guy returned a knife, which was only like $9 or $10. Little tiny Kershaw knife. I don't know why they didn't like it. <laughs> Little tiny guy. Come on, Han. So that's not a problem. It just says, change my mind. Sorry, buddy. All right, let's see. Let's see this. So this is what they bought from me. This was the landscaping design premium software from a company called Punch, which I have quite a few. I still have like nine available. I sold four of them. Didn't have any single problem with the ones that I sold before. 
And this is what they sent me back. Some kind of architect home design. It does have a CD inside. So they did a switcheroo. And when I look at the return, let's see what they wrote. Return details. So they wrote, does not work with Windows 10 as described and indicated. My computer meets all requirements. Thank you for your time. It's a bunch of BS. Just whatever they can, you know, so it doesn't work or defective so they can ship this sucker back. Before we submit this, I'm going to actually reach out to them first. So there is dialogue between me and them. So if eBay wants to research this, that they can see I send them an email asking why. And I'm also going to attach the picture of this asking them why they send this. So if eBay representative customer service is reviewing this, they're going to see this picture of this item, what they return. And that would help me. Uh, on a dispute. So let me send them email first. All right, so I wrote this person an email asking them that they bought this item from me. How come they returned this item to me? Uh, I attached two photos showing the envelope that they sent it in plus this product and I told them what's up. Let me know what's going on. How come you switched the item for me? Please let me know. And that's it. And that's good enough for customer service to review this and see that actually to see what kind of products um, I, I received back. Now I went back to the return. And here, here's the thing. It shows that the item got delivered to me. I have a button right here on the bottom. Refund the buyer, right? Um, and I have to refund by, refund by May 4th. So I got a little bit of time, but on the right hand side here, when it says when it was delivered, purchased, order number, return details, and right underneath the last option is report a problem. You click on that. And here it gives you a bunch of things that you can choose from. Tell us what's wrong. The buyer returned the item. There's an issue with the item and return reason and you can do disagree with the reason provided item was open item was used item was damaged item was missing parts but then way on the bottom you have an option here to click buyer return the wrong item you click on that and you hit next and what happens is it says here it looks like it's time for us to step in and help. What you're doing at this moment, you actually opening up a case against this buyer that they send the wrong product. So, and it gives you a drop down here and tell us what, what's the problem. The buyer returned the wrong item and you have, there's few things that you can choose from here. Can't, can work out, buyer refunded the wrong item, the buyer didn't respond, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to leave the one that it's original here. The buyer returned the wrong item. And I'm going to pause the video here because I'm going to write the explanation. So in this little box I explain what happened. So customer service can read this. I basically said that they bought an item from me. They returned totally different item. And the item that they originally purchased from me. It was $55. The one that they sent it back. It's worth. I just looked this up. This is worth like three five bucks. Um, and I also explained that I already sent a message to the buyer with the pictures so the customer service can review that. Now what happens now when you're gonna go ask us to step in and help, I'm gonna click that and the return is now closed. So this return I don't have to worry about at the moment that I have to refund the money. Now eBay is gonna step in and look at this and see what's going on and they say that they're gonna respond to me within 48 hours to make a decision on this. This is not a huge deal, meaning far as like money wise, but still, you know, um, somebody did a switcheroo and eBay needs to put a red flag on their account because if they keep doing that and screwing around with people, after a few times, you know, if we raise enough flags on this person, they gonna shut them down. 
uh, and hopefully they're gonna see what happened here and they're gonna rule it in my favor and give me the money back or at least I won't have to give them the money back that's the idea so yeah it doesn't happen very often but uh, there are some characters who uh, abuse this system Ruby what do you think time to dance I almost forgot with those returns there was a package that came in let's set it up here and I almost forgot let's see what we got here where's my knife Ooh, I cut the letter maybe a little bit too aggressive what do we got here? Straight Away Records. Dear Peter, we love your show. We watch it the most days here in our shop. We love Honey and Ruby. I love them too. What did you guys send me? Awesome. Straight Away Records. Where is this? Haverhill, Massachusetts. Awesome. I love anything that's got going on with LPs on it. You know, I'm a big, uh, big guy when it comes to this vintage stuff. Thank you so much. Perfect size, extra large. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dave. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna definitely wear that T-shirt because I love, I love anything that's got to do with vinyl. So thank you so much. Great gift. Yeah, look at look at these two chilling right here. Doobie, are, are you dancing still, Ruby? Are you dancing? Guys, I'm going to end the show here right now. But before I go, uh, I want to mention one more thing. Today's Saturday. I'm going to publish this video today. But tomorrow, Sunday, at 8 p.m., 8 p.m. Central Time, uh, I'm going to be doing a live show on Tommy Bernard's channel with Tracy and also Ronnie Hart my good friend Ronnie Hart is going to be there with me so this is going to be a discussion about eBay reselling YouTube life in general everything that's going on should be very interesting so I invite all my uh, viewers to come and join us tomorrow I'm going to put a link below this video to that show uh, that is going to be tomorrow on Tommy's channel should be fun you can participate, you can be in comments, you can ask us anything you want. Should be lots of fun, so please come and join us. That's tomorrow, Sunday, 8 p.m. on Tommy's channel. Guys, thank you much. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something today from the different things that we did. Um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.